What we have here is a pan sample of soil that has been taken from the field and allowed to air dry. When you're determining soil texture by feel, it really doesn't make any difference what moisture content this sample starts at. When I first start to examine the soil to determine textural class, I look for aggregates or clods, such as this one that I have in my hand now. The reason I do that is because I want to see what amount of consistency this soil has when it's dry in terms of how strong these clods or aggregates have become. As I, in this particular one, I start to, to put force on this and it breaks and shatters and crumbles into a very single green na gra grained nature almost instantly. Now what does this tell me about a soil from a textural class standpoint? What this is telling me is that this soil has very little clay in it. Clay is the aggregate or the stickier part of the soil particles which allow clods or aggregates to be bound together much more tightly and have much more strength uh, when exerted or ex have much more strength when subjected to a force. To determine soil texture by feel, I take approximately 25 grams. Well, how much is 25 grams? 25 grams is about enough soil to fill the palm of your hand. I remove small aggregates by crushing them. Then I begin to wet this soil. A small dropper bottle or water bottle, such as I'm showing you here, uh, works well for this. What I'm trying to do is bring this soil up to the right moisture content to make a ball out of this quantity of soil. It'll take a little bit of practice at the beginning. If you get it a little bit too wet, add soil. If you get it a little bit too dry, uh, just continue to add moisture. So on soil sample, the first one we're working with here, we've examined it dry. It looks to be a very coarse textured soil. Now what I'm going to do is start following this procedure that's outlined for you on your uh, lab handout on page four. We start up at the top, we place the 25 grams of soil in the palm, add the water, kneading the soil, breaking down the aggregates, getting it to the proper consistency when it's plastic and moldable. Now I'm determining in this particular case that I've got just a little bit too much moisture in this one. You notice that there's free moisture still on the surface of my hand when the ball is lying there. So I need to add just a little bit more dry soil back to it to get this to the right moisture content. I don't want excessive moisture. That appears to be about the right consistency. So this soil, when wet, will form a ball that has some, it does have some ability to form this moldable ball. So as I read through my flow diagram, it says, does the soil remain in a ball when squeezed? So if I squeeze this, it doesn't break completely apart or shatter totally. So it does have some ability to form a ball. So my answer to that question is yes. So I go down to the next box on my flow diagram. It says, place the ball of soil between the thumb and forefinger, gently pushing the soil with the thumb, squeezing it upward into a ribbon. Form a ribbon of uniform thickness and width. And allow the ribbon to emerge and extend over the forefinger, breaking from its own weight. So what I'm trying to determine now is to determine whether or not this soil will form a ribbon. So I've got the soil in this ball. I'm squeezing it up between my thumb and forefinger. As I do that, it breaks and falls off. In other words, it will not, it does not have enough clay in it to have the ability to ribbon. So if I follow my flow diagram, it says, does the soil form a ribbon? The answer to this is no. No leads me over to the circled area which says this soil is a loamy sand. If this soil were to ribbon, then I would go down to the next box below that and determine what length of ribbon it would form. That would lead me into a different box, which would then give me a textural class name indicating a soil with a higher amount of clay or at least a lesser amount of sand which would allow it to ribbon. So we've determined this particular soil to be a loamy sand. This is on the extreme lower left-hand corner of the textural triangle, also found in this handout. 
this is a very coarse textured soil. This is a soil that has a relatively low water holding capacity, but a very rapid intake rate for water. 